All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Mechakwadash, all right, which is the Heavenly Father's true name in the Hebrew, all right, in the name of His only begotten Son, yeah, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, the true names in the Hebrew are Yahweh, which is the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai, which is the Son. Okay, and it's by, it's by their will that all this is happening. Okay, as I get into this other article right here, and um, you know, if any precepts come to me, I'll, I'll get them, but for now, I'm just going to read the article. Okay, so it says, one way or another, Trump inches towards uh, or toward emergency over wall and shutdown impasse. And, um, you know, lately there's been talks of, um, you know, I mean, the Pentagon actually getting ready, okay, for Trump to declare that, that state of emergency to <coughs> get that wall built, you know, which that wall will be built, okay, more than likely, all right, but... Hey, you know, understand that as we inch closer and closer and closer, all right, it's getting to that mark in which, which I believe a lot of people are missing their paychecks tomorrow, okay, and it's getting closer and closer to that, that record mark of 21 days, which is the longest the government had been shut down, all right, but, you know, I mean, like the scriptures say, the times we're coming into is going to be a time like never before, so no wonder it's shattering records, and you have uh, uh, even the Fed saying that this is going to affect the economy if it, if it continues, okay. And you even have Trump saying he's not going to attend the uh, economic meeting was at Davos because um, because if this if this government uh, shutdown continues. OK, so let's read this article real quick. It says um, U.S. President Donald Trump seems poised to declare a, a national emergency and redirect Pentagon resources toward building a wall on the on the border with Mexico after his talks with congressional Democrats went nowhere. Visiting the border in Texas on Thursday, Trump met with federal, state, and local officials and repeated the need for a barrier along the border with Mexico. We need a wall, whether it's steel or concrete, call it whatever you want, but we need it. Trump argued in a video posted on Twitter, flanked by Border Patrol agents. Now, you see, what he's trying to do is he's trying to... The reason he didn't declare it, all right, on Tuesday was because he's trying to make it seem as though... Uh, or give him full justification in declaring the state of emergency because now he can say, oh, well, I tried everything and they didn't listen. So guess what? Being that I'm the president, this is what I'm going to do. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. But we understand that this is all controlled opposition. This is all the elites, all right, uh, playing the, the game, pulling the strings, which they're going to, <laughs> look, they're going to turn America into a hellhole before they, they try to rebuild everything under the new world order. Okay. But they're gonna, but they're gonna set it up to make it seem as though it's 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 Trump's fault or is this or is that. But hey, man, you you think Trump is bad now, man? Just wait till you see what, what, what what's coming, man. Okay, so um, it says one possible way out of the impasse is for Trump to declare a national emergency, all right, and redirect some of the Pentagon funding to have the Army Corps of Engineers build a border barrier. It seemed it seemed likely that he would do so based on his ad address to the nation on Tuesday. But in the end, he decided to give the Democrats another chance to change their mind. On Wednesday, now, now it wouldn't be far-fetched because Trump is the type of dude to declare a state of emergency. And, and depending on how bad it affects people, okay, and people start rioting and protesting, and then blame it on the Democrats and say it's because of them that all this is happening. So it says on Wednesday, however, Trump walked out of the talks with Senate uh, min my Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, um, and Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi after they ruled out any money for the wall ever. Trump called the meeting a total waste of time. Um, it says Pelosi and Schumer refused to negotiate virtually um, virtually ends congressional path to fund a border barrier. Senator Lindsey, uh, Lindsey Graham uh, said on Thursday, urging Trump to invoke his emergency powers. It says, will he do it? There are increasing uh, indications that Trump is considering doing just that. Earlier in the day, he told reporters he had the absolute right to declare a national emergency, adding, I haven't done it yet. I may do it. If this doesn't work out, probably I will do it. I would most, I would almost say definitely. All right. By Thursday evening, NBC was reporting that Department of Defense officials had briefed the president on a possible plan of building the wall using the emergency declaration. Citing three U.S. officials familiar with the briefing, anonymous, of course, NBC said the proposal would involve funds allocated to uh, to flood prevention and protection 
projects in California as well as money allocated to rebuild Puerto Rico after damage from Hurricane Maria. See? So, showing you, man, that, that really all this, this whole thing is really affecting the minorities the most, man. All right? And Trump said it himself. Okay? That's who's really affecting the most because look, he's he's like he's ready to pull funds from the the what what is it the uh, money to rebuild Puerto Rico because he doesn't care, okay? The flood prevention and all that he doesn't care, man. <laughs> okay, it says um the Army Corps of Engineers could build uh three point fifteen miles of the border barrier in about eighteen months. NBC reported, citing the un the unnamed officials. The Department of Defense is reviewing available authorities and funding me uh, mechanisms or mechanisms to identify options to enable border barrier construction. Navy Captain Bill Speaks, a Pentagon spokesman, told USA Today, adding that it would be inappropriate to comment further on those efforts as the emergency declaration has not been made, which really you want to say has not been made yet. Okay, and uh, uh, was it the national um? Uh man, I forgot the name of it. Uh, Department Department of uh was it Homeland Security or or one of those uh um you know a couple years ago or so bought a lot of whole lot of guns and a whole lot of hollow tip bullets okay because they know that what all because these elites all right and these insiders and these these government officials and so on and so forth they know what the plan is already okay they know where it's gonna head and they know it's gonna get nasty and it's gonna get ugly out here all right. And we know it too through the spirit, all right, of the Most High, revealing it to us, all right, being prophets of the Lord. We know, okay, uh, 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 what's going to happen, what the end game is, more than these elites even know, all right? So it says, can he do it? Even some of the president's most outspoken critics have conceded he has the constitutional authority to invoke a national emergency, though Democrats have vowed to try and block it in both the Congress and the courts. Overruling Trump's emergency declaration will take veto-proof majorities in both the House of Representative, uh, Representatives and the Senate, however, which the Democrats lack. See? As for seeking a court injunction, it's unclear who would have standing to file a claim, though it seems likely California will try if the NBC story about relief funds prov uh, proves accurate. So, it's a whole lot of hate against Trump, <laughs> okay? And... They're hoping he doesn't declare the state of emergency, but if he declares it, man, and it gets to the point of of uh, 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 total total military control and and uh, suspension of the constitution and and all of that, man, you can kiss your freedoms goodbye. Okay, it says there are currently 31 ongoing national emergencies declared by the U.S. government. CNN reported, citing documents from the Congressional Research Service and Federal Register. The oldest one dates back to 1979 and the Iranian Revolution, while the most recent, dated November 27, 2018, authorizes sanctions against certain individuals over the situation in Nicaragua. Due to the impasse between Trump and, and the Democrats, a quarter of the U.S. government has been shut down since December 22. The shutdown is affecting some eight, uh, 800,000 federal employees who will miss their first, their first paycheck on Friday, which is tomorrow. All right, but we're talking about a state of a state of emergency that's gonna lead into things much worse. Okay, now it might it might start off as something where people will be like, oh well, it's happened before, you know, and and blah 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 blah, and this is what it was like. But this is not what it's gonna be like, man. Okay, as the scriptures say in Jeremiah uh, 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 thirty verse seven and um, Daniel the twelfth chapter, man, this the the time we're coming into is gonna be like a time like never before. All right, so let me get that that precept real quick this is daniel chapter 12 verse 1 and at that time shall michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people Mar michael being the archangel okay and there shall be a time of trouble jacob's trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered every one that shall be found written in the book see so those that are those that the lord has given the uh, the green light all right to, to survive and to to uh, uh to be delivered are those that will be delivered. If not, well, you know, sayonara is over. Okay, so you know, it's day by day. We're getting we're getting closer and closer and closer. All right, to the downfall of this place, man. Okay, and hey, we're gonna see what happens, man. All right, it starts with the wall. It starts with with these talks, man. But very soon it's gonna get real violent. Okay, 
So keep your eyes open, like we always say, man, and pray to the Heavenly Father, okay? And for those of you who are out there uh, being wicked, man, repent, because judgment is coming. Okay, so Lowell, and this was edifying unto the elect. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, and Shalom.